Hey guys, today we are doing a quick review of multiplying fractions. So I have this problem up here on the board. It's four fifths times by three eighths. That's what we're going to be solving. Um, and I'm just going to walk you through the steps. So when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. We do not have to have matching denominators like we do when we add and subtract. Um, so I actually don't have to do anything to this problem. I can just multiply. I multiply my numerator by my numerator and my denominator with my other denominator. So starting with the top, the numerators, 4 times 3 equals 12. I'm going to write that. And then 5 times 8 equals 40. And I've got 12 over 40, 12 fortieths. So not too difficult, but this is not my final answer because I need to make sure that my answer is written in simplest form. That means it is as small as it can be or as simple as it can be. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I start by making a factor tree, which you guys know how to do. So I've got 12, and I've got 40 and I make these just like normal and then I'll tell you what we do after that's a little bit different. 12 I can split up into 6 and 2. 2 is prime and then I split the 6 up into 3 and 2 and both of those are prime. And then I move over to my 40 which I can split up into 8 and 5. Five's prime, and then my eight, I'm gonna split up into four and two. Two's prime, and then I split my four up into two and two. Remember, I just circle the prime numbers at the end because once I finish my factor tree, those are the only ones that I am gonna worry about. So now, instead of making a Venn diagram, I'm gonna set up kind of a fraction with all my prime numbers. So it'll make sense once you see it. Um, my numerator is 12, so all my prime numbers from 12 are gonna go on the top. So three times two times two, those are all my prime numbers. And then I'm gonna make it like a fraction. So I'm gonna put my line and then I'm gonna list all the prime numbers for five, or for 40, which are five, two, two, and two. And these are being multiplied together. That's why I have multiplication sign in there. And then what I do is similar to my Venn diagram, I find matching ones. Top and bottom have to match this time though. So, my three doesn't match with anything, but I can match a two and a two. And again, I cross them out because I matched them. And then another two and another two. And then I'm left with three, five, and two. And yeah, the, none of those have a match. And the last thing I do is I multiply. So my top, all I have left is three, so I don't necessarily have to multiply it by anything. Just write a three. And then the bottom for my denominator, I have a five and a two left, which if I multiply those together, I get 10. And so three over 10 or three tenths is my final answer. That is the most simplified version of 12 over 40. Um, so that's how I multiply fractions and simplify at the end. Remember to multiply straight across first and then to simplify you do your factor trees set up your multiplying fraction and then cross out and get your final answer